All right, Sunday evening, doing a little meal prep. We're doing some compre caprese, caprese salad, however you want to call it. So it's just some of these mozzarella pearls, cherry tomatoes, some basil from the Arrow Garden, and then instead of olive oil, we use this balsamic vinegar. I think I got it at Aldi. And then just a little bit of pepper and just a little bit of sea salt because that balsamic vinegar is pretty sweet. Now just mix it up and enjoy. It is Sunday evening. Actually, it's nighttime. It's closer to like 8 o'clock at night. But we're having halibut fish tacos tonight. So this is the salsa for on top. It's a whole mango, uh, entire jalapeno with the ribs and seeds removed, half a red onion, half the juice of a lime, and some sea salt and pepper. You can also do like red bell pepper, or orange bell pepper, or whatever color bell pepper you want in it. But we didn't have any in Walmart. They were pretty pricey. I don't know if it's because of the season or what's going on. But it was like almost three bucks for three bell peppers. So I just passed on that. Tonight's dinner is a little bland looking, but we have some fish tacos, some salsa with the mango, onion, jalapeno, lime juice, topped with some avocado, cabbage, and then we have some sauteed zucchini and onions and Uncle Ben's rice. We're eating dinner in bed tonight, so I had to run into the bathroom to record what we're having because it's dark in our room, but we made a burger quesadilla. We have some of the caprese salad I made yesterday, some leftover asparagus. That was just blanched and then some roasted potatoes looks pretty good and then we did cabbage on the quesadilla so the lettuce wouldn't get all nasty and soft we're gonna roast up some potatoes in the oven just chop it up and roast them and i've been wanting to use this rosemary since it's getting so big and it looks like some of the leaves are like starting to get a little burned i don't know what's up with that i've never had rosemary be this successful with growing before so i'm gonna pull some up and chop it up and throw it in with the roasted potatoes so the potatoes have roasted for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. So then I'm going to add in the zucchini. All right, dinner tonight is brought to you by little side salad plates because I was too lazy to do dishes, but we did hamburger patties and then we have some sauteed mushrooms and onions on it, some roasted potatoes with some rosemary, and then we just sauteed some or roasted up some zucchini. So that's dinner. So tonight's dinner, it is now Wednesday night. The week's flying by. We're going to make a tofu curry with basmati rice. Had this tofu for a few weeks, so we definitely need to use it up. And then I got this coconut curry sauce at Walmart. And all you need to do is add some water, oil, and protein and veggies. So after you drain the tofu, you'll want to press it for about 20 minutes. I just have a couple layers of kitchen towels, and then I have a piece of foil between the kitchen towel and the textbook. You can buy a tofu press. I had one that was like $25. It was the biggest waste of money. It didn't even work very well. So I'm just using a textbook instead. You could use anything heavy like a pot, pan, some cans, or a nursing school textbook. All right, so it's at about 15-ish minutes, 15, 20. And this towel is absolutely soaked. So, and it's stained. It's not dirty. So yeah, it's been pressed. You can kind of tell it's been pressed because it's not a perfect square anymore. So after you press the tofu, cut it into whatever size you want. We like it pretty small, so they're pretty decent size. I didn't do a very good job. They're not equal. And then I'm going to toss them a little bit in some cornstarch before I toss them in the wok with a little bit of oil. Just because I heard that makes them a little more crispier, so we'll find out. I'm batch cooking the tofu. That way it's not, the pan's not overcrowded, so it's taking a little bit longer to make dinner tonight. But I had made this earlier today. I got this at the clearance aisle a few weeks ago at Walmart just because the box was damaged. So yeah, we've been snacking on that and it's actually really, really good. We will have to start buying it on a regular basis. The tofu did get a little crispy. It's still pretty soft and spongy, but it's not bad. The sauce ended up getting really, really thick on this. Like, it actually didn't even really leave a sauce. Here's my dinner. So it's some basmati rice that I cooked in the Instant Pot, the tofu curry, some mixed veggies, and some of that carrot cake. So it looks pretty good. It smells pretty good. Hopefully it tastes pretty good.
mainly we just had to use up some of the fresh produce so I had to make up this salsa which I bought extra to make this salsa but in it we have an entire mango an entire jalapeno with the seeds and ribs removed half a red onion half the juice of a lime and some salt and pepper and then we're topping the tacos with some shredded cabbage and then some plain Greek yogurt in place of sour cream a little bit of avocado I actually ended up getting into a little bit of indigestion last night from eating some avocado so there's like very 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 tiny pieces on here I really like avocado it really doesn't like me and then we're having some Spanish style rice on the side we love these Uncle Ben's bags also I'm using a paper plate for my dinner plate because that's real life I really didn't want to do dishes today hashtag lazy but we also have a bunch of the salad left over from last night just because I made a gigantic salad because I had lettuce that was going bad. So if I'm still hungry after my two gigantic tacos and rice, I will eat some salad. I'm starving today. I've been snacking all day, so I did end up going back for a salad. It's Saturday and we are having tacos for dinner tonight. I know we had tacos last night, but they were with soft shells and they were halibut. These are actually like real tacos with ground beef, lettuce, tomato, cheese. And then we had some mushrooms and onions that were going bad. So I just sauteed those. We have some refried beans with a little bit of cheese. And then we have some of the rice that was left over from last night. So this wraps up my first week of what's for dinner. I hope you guys got some meal ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great week.